It's been nearly two years since a home exploded in Firestone and two men working inside of that home died in the blast. The wife and sister of those two victims survived and in the time that has passed, Erin Martinez has kept her recovery private. But today she ended her silence, stepping in front of cameras for the first time since the explosion. She spoke to reporters at the state capitol as the governor and others introduced a bill that would reform Colorado's oil and gas industry. Nine News reporter Katie Eastman explains why her story could lead to changes across our state. It's my honor to introduce Erin Martinez. Before April 17th, 2017, Aaron Martinez had a husband and a brother. Three. Before that day, they didn't know that gas was seeping into soil and leaking into their home. The gas leak went undetected for four months. It should have been inspected and it should have been pressure tested. Every day since April 17th, Aaron wishes she had known. On the day of the explosion, I remember being blown into the air and trapped between falling debris. The entire house was lifted off of its foundation. It fell completely to one side. My son had to crawl on his hands and knees through a tunnel to a window and make the decision to jump out and save his own life. But her husband Mark and her brother Joey were trapped in the basement and killed. Nobody should ever have to experience what my family has had to go through these past almost two years. I feel a direct responsibility to keep that from happening. So she's talking publicly for the first time in hopes her story will force the oil and gas industry to change. Mark and Joey deserved better. We all deserve better. Thank you.